Welcome to static cardiology station number three. All of the instructions are listed below. As a reminder, you have a six minute time limit in which you must read and interpret four rhythms and treat the patients associated with those rhythms accordingly. Mark is going to demonstrate. Welcome to static cardiology station number three. Take a moment to write down any notes that you would like. Do you have any questions before we begin? Not at this time. All right, then let's begin. You're a paramedic with an urban EMS system. You and your partner respond with a four-person engine company to the following patient. Patient's a 76-year-old female with a chief complaint of feeling weak. She is conscious and alert and slow to answer your questions. She has no chest pain, but has a slight amount of dyspnea. This came on suddenly about 15 minutes ago. Vitals are blood pressure 100 over 50, pulses rapid and weak and too fast to count. Respirations are 22 and clear, skin is pink, warm and dry. Patient takes warfarin, amiodarone and propranolol. No known allergies. After placing the patient on the monitor, you observe the following rhythm. So BSI seen safe throughout. My rhythm is ventricular tachycardia with a pulse. So I'm gonna place my patient on the monitor and obtain a 12 lead. I'm going to start an IV and keep it at a TKO rate. I'm going to make sure my patient has oxygen between 94 and 99% and give supplemental oxygen if necessary. I'm going to check their ABCs, airway, breathing, and circulation. Because of this patient's rhythm, I'm going to administer amiodarone, 150 milligrams given over 10 minutes. I'm going to place the pads on the patient in case her condition deteriorates and I need to use electricity. I'm going to transport the patient to the hospital and reassess en route. You're a paramedic on an urban EMS system. You and your partner respond with a four-person engine company to the following patient, a 48-year-old male that states he has chest pain. He feels like somebody's pushing a lot of weight on his chest and each time his heart beats. It's hard for him to breathe due to the pain. Vitals are as follows. Pulse matches the monitor. Blood pressure 110 over 99. Respirations are 26, clear and equal bilateral. He has a tympanic temperature of 100.23 degrees Fahrenheit. No known medical history, medications, or allergies. BSI seen safe throughout. Okay, so my rhythm is sinus rhythm. Okay, um, so I'm going to consider my patient's ABCs, make sure he's got a good airway, is breathing well, and has adequate circulation. I'm going to uh, put him on the monitor and I'm going to attain a 12 lead. I'm going to start a large bore IV. I'm going to make sure his oxygen rate is between 94 and 99 percent and provide supplemental oxygen because of the chest pain. Also because of the chest pain I'm going to give him 324 milligrams of aspirin, tell him to chew it up and swallow it immediately. I'm going to um, give him nitro if his blood pressure is at appropriate level and if nitro and aspirin don't relieve the chest pain, then I will consider giving morphine. I'm going to reassess my patient en route and transport him to the hospital. Okay. You're a paramedic with an urban EMS system. You and your partner respond to a four person, with a four-person engine company to the following patient. 45-year-old male who complains of an uncomfortable feeling in his chest. He says it feels like his heart is flopping. Your assessment reveals the following. He's C, A, and O times four. His blood pressure is 122 over 64. Pulse is 120 in irregular. Respirations are 16 clear and equal. He denies any previous significant medical history. He doesn't take any medications. He says he's allergic to tetanus, typhoid. My rhythm is sinus tachycardia with multifocal PVCs. So BSI seen safe throughout. I'm going to consider my patient's ABCs, make sure he's got a good airway, is breathing adequately, and has good circulation. I'm going to place my patient on the monitor. I'm going to obtain a 12 lead. I'm going to start an IV TKO. I'm going to uh, make sure my patient's oxygenating between 94 and 99 percent and give supplemental oxygen if necessary. Because of my patient's multifocal PVCs, I'm going to give amiodarone 150 milligrams given over approximately 10 minutes. I'm also going to place the pads on my patient to be ready to use them if medication is not working. I'm going to transport to the hospital and reassess en route. You're a paramedic with an urban EMS system. You and your partner respond with a four-person engine company to the following patient. 
26 year old female who complains of palpitations. No known medical history, doesn't take any medications, no known allergies. She says she's been under stress lately. So BSI seen safe throughout. My rhythm is sinus rhythm with premature atrial contractions or PACs. So first I'm gonna consider my patient's ABCs, make sure she has a good airway, is breathing well, and has adequate circulation. I'm going to place my patient on the monitor and obtain a 12 lead. I'm gonna start an IV, TKO. I'm gonna make sure my patient's oxygenation is between 94 and 99% and provide supplemental oxygen if necessary. I'm gonna transport my patient to the hospital and reassess and route. Okay, do you have anything that you would like to add or change? Not at this time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right guys, so now that we've completed that station, let's talk about one of the rhythms, which is VTAC with a pulse, which is one of the more concerning rhythms that you might see in the pre-hospital setting. First of all, take a deep breath. Secondly, don't forget you've always got your ACLS algorithms to help keep you focused in situations like this. In this particular case, I had a patient, she had VTAC with a pulse, and her signs and symptoms suggested that she was essentially stable. Therefore, I chose to use pharmacology first, in this case, amiodarone, 150 milligrams, delivered over 10 minutes, and I said that I had the pads ready to go in case her condition deteriorated. Now, if her signs and symptoms would have suggested that she was unstable, I would have sync cardioverted her at 100 joules, and I would have had my pharmacology ready to go in case that didn't work. I also would have considered sedating her first before doing so. Now, if you've got questions, even more questions about what do I want to do with adult tachycardia with a pulse, we've got a separate video. You can find the link below and we'll go into greater detail about both the electricity and the pharmacology. Now, one of the other rhythms that I had for that particular station was a patient who had a sinus tachycardia with multifocal PVCs. And because of that, I also gave amiodarone, okay? And again, you might be saying, how come you went to amiodarone as opposed to some other intervention? And the reason why I did that was because I had multifocal PVCs. Now, if I would have had a strip that would have been, let's say, sinus tachycardia or even sinus rhythm with unifocal PVCs, then I might have done something differently. Um, see if oxygen would have been helpful to the patient, maybe giving them some fluid, because that usually is a condition where there might be some hypoxia going on. But when you've got multifocal PVCs, then more likely than not, we're dealing with a heart that's irritable, and because it's an irritability, that's why we wanna go with amiodarone first. In our next video, we're gonna go much deeper into our adult tachycardia with a pulse algorithm and talk about all the different steps and what you wanna use under what circumstances.